Welcome back to the farm. <laughs> Glorious sunshine out here. Um, I need to cut the grass. We're, we're on the range, and we're on the shooting range. Got the targets down there, we'll have a look at those in a bit. Um, today I'm going to do another gun video. Uh, I have shown this video, this, this actual gun, in uh, other videos when we actually made the range and I had a little bit of a shoot. So today we're going to be looking at the Benjamin Sheridan C9A. It's the C9A series. Now it's uh, 5 mil, 20 cal. So it's not 177 and it's not a 22, it's somewhere slightly in between. Now, my brother does a bit of shooting and he was saying that, um, and I've seen it on YouTube as well, that 22 pellets, 22 pellet guns have a bit of a drop off, they curve, sort of curve down. The 177 is quite a, a straight flying pellet, depending on the gun, of course. You know, if you've got a crappy gun, it won't be ever so good. This is just general. The 177 pellet flies in quite a straight trajectory trajectory the 22 tends to drop off but the 22 is more powerful um, having said that a lot of the feet per second things for 22 rifles are lower than the 1.77 uh, one, 170 anyway this is the 0 0.20 so it's sort of a mixture of both it's got the power almost the power of a 22 but it's got the the almost straight trajectory of the ones of the 177 this I think the c9a is uh, late 80s, early 90s. It's got a scope on it, which is just a, it's a silver crown. I don't know what the magnification is or anything like that. Uh, it's got, you can unscrew this, unscrew that. You can adjust it up and down, this, that, and the other. It has got sights on it. It's got a fixed sight on the end. And, uh, and a sight here, which I'm assuming yeah, there's a, there's a, it is adjustable there. Uh, it's bolt action, so once you've pumped it up, you pull the bolt back. Now with this scope on, it is a little bit tricky getting the pellets in there. You'll probably see that in a, in a minute when we get shooting it. But you, for, to, to power this rifle, it's obviously air, and uh, to get air in the chamber, you have to pump it up. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's good to go. Anywhere from three pumps to eight pumps. I think I said eight pumps maximum. Now years ago when I got this, I bought it from someone at work. Um, I looked on the internet and it said uh, up to 15 pumps, but on YouTube, they're all saying a maximum of eight. I have put 28 pumps into this once before. Um, <laughs> I don't know if it's done any damage or anything, but it didn't make it any more powerful. Uh, now, I have got the idea of this gun is I want to do some projects with it. Uh, I want to strip it down, rebuild it, revalve it or whatever, new seals and stuff, because you can get all the parts for these. Uh, so that, it's just going to be a little bit of a project. It might be a bit of a winter project. I want to strip the wood. Um, refinish the wood and everything and uh, yeah because it's a good gun um, pellets are a little bit difficult to get hold of because they're 0.20 it's, uh, Benjamin Sheridan I, I think they're sent to do a Crosman now I could be wrong anyway uh, they still make a version of this gun but they don't do it in the 0.20 anymore they, they do a 177 they do a 22 uh, obviously they're the popular sizes, so I don't know when they stopped making this 0.20. Uh, you can still get pellets, but they're not as readily available as the 177 or 22. Well, I've got two tins of pellets, so that's a thousand, thousand pellets, and uh, that'll keep us quiet for a little bit. But uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to set up the range. I've not cut the grass down here, so I'll have to shoot at the targets for a little bit higher up out the floor. <laughs> I'll get some cameras down that end and I'm going to be, because with this gun, if you'll notice in the last video that I did where we showed this gun, um, after pumping it up, holding it up like that, I was tending to wave it about a little bit. So what I'm going to do today is I've got my other big tripod out here. I'm going to rest the gun on the tripod because a lot of people sit down 
and have all sorts of gadgets for uh, resting their gun on. So I'm not spending out on stuff like that. I've got a perfectly good tripod and, a, and an old cloth to put over the top of it. <laughs> so we'll, we'll give that a whirl and uh, we'll see uh, what we can hit down the range. So we'll see you over here. So I think we're all set up. Just get into position and get loaded. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pull back the bolt. That's a nice satisfying click, that noise that bolt makes. Drop the pellet in, which isn't easy. Push the bolt back in, safety's off. Got a little cloth here somewhere. I missed. I've lost count. One more for luck. Let's see if it's easy without my glasses on. I think actually I'm a bit high. I don't know where they're going. <laughs> I could do have a little table set up here, really. I won't put it in my mouth because they're likely to be lead. Won't be clever, will it? Right, pump it. I don't know where it hit. Find out in a minute. We'll go back down and have a look. Eight. Got it. Did you see that spin? <laughs> and that was the second one down as well, which was what I was aiming for. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that's lovely, that sound. I don't know what it is, but it just sounds nice. It's got that, it's got that gun sound to it. Yeah, I can hear you what you're saying. What the heck are you talking about? All right. I can't get that top one. I don't know if it's aiming a bit high.
No, don't worry, I'm not a sharpshooter or anything like that. I think my eyesight's too crap for that. Of course, I'm right handed when it comes to guns and you know, writing and stuff, but my left eye is my strongest one, but I can't sort of look through that because it's obviously my, that shoulder. I can't put it on my other shoulder because it's just wrong. Um, I know I've got my glasses on, but this, my left eye is my strongest eye. But I mean, I hit that thing a minute ago, so I don't know why I can't hit it again. Let me aim for that one. I hit the second one down again. I pulled that sideways then, I saw it in the thing. It's probably not the most ideal setup, resting the gun on a tripod. I don't know what number that is. Get my composure back. <laughs> wouldn't be a very good sniper, I wouldn't have many kills, would I? See, so I don't know where it's going. I suppose if I was <coughs> aiming for the target, I'd probably be able to see where it went. So this scope's good, but it doesn't magnify it so that much. It, obviously, it magnifies it a bit. I don't know what what it is. Um, it's something I could probably look into because I've got the mounts which um, go on this rifle. So I could probably look into getting another scope that's a bit more powerful and get it zeroed in, and that would be quite good. Trouble is, I'm looking through and I'm catching the side of my glasses. I'm not making excuses here, but... We'll have a look at these when I go down now. I've got two more pellets in the tin, so I'll just fire them off. All right. Six, seven, eight. Getting warm, eh? <laughs> I think I pulled that a bit high as well. I'm aiming for the centre, so <laughs> we'll see what sort of group they are when we get down there. Seven, eight. No, it missed. All right, I'll leave this running for me audio, but I'll go and grab the other cameras and we'll have a look down there. So you see the second one down, I've hit that a couple of times. Um, I think I hit that when I was aiming for that, or aiming for one of the lower down ones, but we'll have a look over this side. So on here, one, two, three, four, five, six, six shots. I mean, that's, I don't know how many of these were from the last video but I was aiming sort of for the middle. Uh, I think it was that one and that one that I got last time. So these four were from today's shoot. Um, they're not badly grouped. I mean, we're probably uh, 50 foot away, something like that. But uh, it's not bad. Obviously me waving the gun about and trigger trigger uh, discipline's not great I'm jerking the gun a little bit when I'm squeezing the trigger but other than said that I've not fired a gun for you know a target 
shooting gun for quite a long time. But yeah, it's not too bad. I think that was from the last time and that was from the last time. There's none up on that one. I'll have to check the other video and see which ones it was. But I'm quite sure I've got one in the black on the last one, so it might have been, I say it might have been these ones. So that's it. The Benjamin Sheridan C9A. I think they used to be called the Blue Streak, the Silver Streak. Uh, this was one of the latest ones, so sort of late 80s, early 90s, that kind of thing. Um, it is quite accurate when it's zeroed in and I'm a bit more on the ball. <laughs> so, you know, I'm not saying that I'm a good shooter or anything. I have been known to hit targets. <laughs> But it's all practice at the end of the day. If you don't lose, you, if you, hang on. If you don't use it, you lose it. And that's true with a lot of things. So, and my eyesight's getting a bit worse, but um, the, the setup with the tripod, it, it's all right, it holds it still, but I'm still waving it around everywhere. And when I do actually do this up, I might see about putting a, a better scope on it because this one's a bit old. And uh, I don't know what sort of power this puts out. Uh, I will look it up, but it's a UK, I've got it in the UK, I don't know if it's a UK gun. <clears throat> in the UK, I think, um, air rifles have to be uh, 12, pound, 12 foot pounds or under uh, to be legal. In France, we're allowed up to 20 joules, which I think is about 14 point something. I'll put it across the screen. Uh, we're allowed a little bit more powerful um, air guns. Also, when it comes to BB guns and stuff like that, we're allowed fully automatic, whereas in the UK, they're not. They're only allowed semi-automatic, which I don't know why. I mean, a, a BB is gonna hurt you if it's once or, you know, you can still pull the trigger quite fast. But for some reason, the law says they're not allowed automatic BB guns. Um, but in France, we are. And we're allowed blank firing guns and home defense revolvers and stuff like that. So this is just a bit of a, a look over the, the Benjamin Sheridan C9A. Uh, it will be getting stripped down at some point, but that'll be a video f probably through the winter, all that kind of stuff, um, to show you how it works. And it is a good workout using this gun. <laughs> probably a uh, PCP would be nice, but uh, there's no way of converting this. So yeah, I hope you like this video and it's, uh, if you ever see one of these cheap, pick one up because you, even if it doesn't work, you can buy all the bits for them, all the insides and everything. Um, you know, it's a good, fun little rifle. I'm not sure, it probably, if, if it was zeroed in and that, and you was a good shot, it probably would be all right for pest control. Um, being the 0.20, it's, it's a good size. Uh, but you wouldn't want to be out rabbiting or anything like that with it because pumping it up you're going to scare everything off <laughs> but for just a bit of target practice a bit of fun in the back garden it's great uh i think i paid 40 quid for this years ago um off a lad at work who was a bit desperate for money and he was selling everything he had but uh, so there there you go we'll catch you in the next video bye for now <laughs>